welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video why do my shoulders <laughs> look so large and in charge this bomber jacket sometimes sits really square how odd um it's actually 20 to 7 and i just thought i'd start the vlog now because i thought i'd do a little spend the evening with me a little evening routine and then probably vlog into the rest of this week as well i'm just wrapping up some work for the day you can see my squares bar wrapper there and my emotional support water bottle which have i shown you on the vlog yet don't know if i've shown you guys this but this is my new water bottle from amazon it's two liters and i literally carry it everywhere with me and it's so good to get your water in i used to buy like the evian bottles of water and then like refill them until they started like getting minging and then i'd get rid of them um but this is my new water bottle it comes in a few colors i'll leave a link down below um but yeah just wrapping up some work for the day and then the weather is nice so me and jordan are going to take colby out for a walk um and make the most of the blue skies gonna make some dinner and i just thought i'd bring you guys along with me and i'd vlog so i actually went to the metro today so i'm going to show you what i picked up because i went for lunch with my sister and um went to a few shops because we are actually going wedding dress shopping for the first time this weekend which i'm so excited for i can't believe that i'm gonna actually try on dresses and potentially find my wedding dress how crazy is that um, and how funny that I actually didn't realise that I'd booked it for this day and it's exactly a year to the date that I'm trying on dresses that Jordan proposed. Is that a sign from the universe? I don't know but how wild is that? Um, but let me go and get my bag and I'll show you what I got from the metro today. It's not that exciting but I picked up a few things. Okay, it's all in this bag. It's really random and not that exciting but... I feel like I'm going to show you anyway. First thing I picked up from Boots is hair fever essentials. The past two days, I feel like my hair fever is coming back. And at this time of year, honestly, I suffer with hair fever so badly. I have done since I was a kid. Like anyone out there who suffers, you know the pain. Um, last year, these tablets were recommended to me and they're the only thing that works for me like pyrites and whatever the other ones are called just don't work like like i'd take one and i'd still just feel so full of hair fever really itchy eyes runny nose itchy throat you know that feeling when your throat feels itchy it's the worst um but these got recommended to me last year and they actually work so i'm gonna make sure i'm stocked up on them and hopefully i can keep my hair fever at bay this year these are just from boots by the way they are the olivia tablets so i picked up two boxes of them because it was buy one get your second half price and i also got just this like nasal spray not very glamorous not very exciting but if you're a hair fever girly you know the pain um i also then popped to primark and got some what are these cotton pads cotton wool pads because i've run out i always pick these up when i go to primark because they are 90 pence and they're just an essential aren't they um i then got me and my sister both got these because we saw them and we were like they are stunning look at these little bracelets they're just like gold chunky bracelets and i thought in the summer even like through the day with a bikini i just thought they were really cute i might actually go and buy some more um because they're just good for layer and jewelry and they were only three pound and like in the summer when you just want to chuck something on just thought they were cute um, and then they had the matching necklace, so we both got the matching necklace, so we're going to literally be matching. Um, but yeah, it's just like this really nice gold, kind of thick chain, and the necklace was £3.50. I really love them, I think they look a lot more expensive than obviously what they are. I also got from Primark a lip liner. Did I need a new lip liner? No. But I used to wear this all the time and I forgot about it. And I saw it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to really get that. It's called Toffee and it is like a dark brown, but I remember it being a really warm brown, which is what I like. Okay, I can't open it, but it's a nice warm brown 
lip liner and they last really well and they're literally how much are they a pound and honestly these last so well and then i didn't actually buy this today but it just arrived in the post today i've been well and truly influenced on tiktok and i bought the um honey glue super hold it smells kind of funny i don't know if i like that it's really strong um i use a mixture of brow products i use the got to be glued i use the refi i use the anastasia beverly hills hold whatever that's called the little pot and i thought i'd try this i use them all on different occasions like no makeup days i love the got to be glued no makeup days i also love the refi full face i love the anastasia don't know what this use is going to be but thought i'd give it a go because i've heard amazing things about it and i was influenced on tiktok and then finally from shopping from h&m i got this skirt it's literally just a satin skirt i mean it obviously needs a steam um but i actually got this to wear for dress shopping because i just thought a cute outfit would be this a little knit crop top my white zara blazer and my heeled boots um, I thought that was a nice little outfit to go dress shopping because me, my mum and Sophie are going to go for lunch after and make a nice day out of it. Um, but I got this in a size small, it was £20 and yeah, just a cute little satin skirt. I feel like I needed this in my wardrobe. There's been a few outfits recently where I've thought a skirt like this would really look cute. So I'm glad I found it because that's what I was literally going for. And then we walked in H&M and Sophie was like, Dion, there's the satin skirt. So I feel like it was calling my name. But yeah. That's what I picked up today. I'm gonna quickly throw some leggings on because I'm currently in jeans and take Corby Lou out. shower is done fresh pjs are on is there any feeling like it because i honestly love taking my makeup off having a shower moisturizing my body putting my fresh pajamas on doing my skincare and then trotting downstairs to make my dinner it just brings me so much happiness so guys i'm about to do my evening skincare routine and i'm so excited to say this part of the video is kindly sponsored by l'oreal paris my absolute faves shown you so many products from them in the past before vitamin c serum is literally my daily morning glow holy grail product i am obsessed with it i was actually telling lucy who does my nails um which i got done today actually love them i was telling lucy today about that vitamin c serum and how good it is for giving your skin that bright glowy look on a morning but i've been introduced to two new products as part of my evening skincare routine and i have discovered a dupe for a very well-known expensive luxury nighttime serum we'll say that this stuff is incredible when I say it leaves your skin so hydrated and glowy on a morning, I honestly love it. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I use it every single night without fail. I always do my evening skincare routine. It's a bit of a ritual because when I wake up on a morning, I can tell such a difference from when I haven't. Like my skin is so dry. Right now I've got nothing on it. I've just took my makeup off and it feels really dry around my nose. And then if I go to sleep like that, I just wake up feeling crusty and that's just not cute so especially when i get up at 5am to go to the gym i'm not doing anything to my face at that time so i need to feel glowy 
and by doing this the night before it helps so much. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Midnight Serum. It's got vitamin E and hyaluronic acid in it which helps to renew and refresh your skin overnight. Let me show you the consistency of it as you apply it. You'll be able to see the instant glow that it gives your skin. It leaves your skin feeling so hydrated, ready for bed, ready for it to renew those cells and wake up with fresh, gorgeous skin. So I just use a few drops all over my face and then massage them in. My skin already just feels and looks so much more hydrated from just applying those drops. However, I do then like to go in with the Midnight Cream, which promotes firmer, radiant, younger looking skin. We all want that, you gal is, I nearly said 25, I'm actually 26 now. So prevention is key, okay? We're preventing over here. So after the serum has just sat on my skin for a little bit, I just like to apply this over the top for extra hydration, extra smoothness, extra radiance, just all the goodness. I also make sure to bring it down my neck because we want to do everything that we do to our face to our neck, okay? We don't want a really young looking face and then a wrinkly neck. And yeah guys, I then just pop on a little bit of lip balm and that is my evening skincare complete. One thing about me, I like to keep it simple. I don't want a 10 part skincare routine on a night i just want to make it really easy for myself because half of the time i'm doing it before bed and i'm literally rushing to get myself in bed so this is the perfect little duo you need to try it i absolutely love it cannot recommend enough and it's also currently on sale for half price at boots so if you want to try it now's your time to go and check it out pick up this little duo and let me know if you love it if you've tried other high-end luxury nighttime serums please go and try this because i used to use another serum and this is my new go-to i honestly love it so i'll leave information and links in the description down below make sure to check it out let me know if you do also i always use any excess product on my hands to rub into the backs of my hands again like the next situation just to keep it youthful um but yeah, let's go cook some dinner. I don't actually know what we're going to have tonight. I think we're going to have one of the HelloFresh meals. Um, I need to go and look because I can't even remember which ones we ordered this week. But I'm starving. So let's go make some yummy dinner. So here is our dinner options for tonight. I think I know which one I fancy. Which is this one. But I'm gonna go and ask Jordan which one he prefers and hope that he picks this one as well. Success, Jordan picked the same. We are very in sync. So it is the pasta tonight. I'm very excited. And dinner is served. This smells and looks delicious. Okay, so for dessert, I'm having this little yogurt, which we always get. We always get this one and the chocolate one. This is white chocolate. However, I'm really fancying something sweet. So I'm kind of making it not healthy, but... Who cares? Okay, I fancy something sweet. So I'm gonna put this in the bowl. Mm. 
Give it a little mix. Then got the lotus biscuits. And I'm gonna just crumble these on top. And then just gonna get a teaspoon of the spread. And add that to it as well. And there is my little dessert. Okay, so it's currently 26 minutes past nine. I'm about to get ready for bed because I am up in the morning for the gym at 5.30 a.m. So I need to get an early night. But before I go to bed, I always like to tidy this room and tidy my office so that I'm waking up to a fresh space. So that is my plan. I'm gonna do a quick little speed clean and get this place looking tidy. Reel me in to get it going, open me up Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated I hate it Every time I get too close, you push me away Don't wanna stick, telling me you don't want any obligations And how you hate them And just like that, it is all clean and tidy in here Ready for a new day I always also get my gym kit out ready for the next morning because when I get up for the gym I don't need to use my brain I need to just get my outfit on and get in the car and drive to the gym so I always get my gym outfit out lay it on my little chair so that when I come in here in the morning I can just literally get ready so this is my gym drawer I'm gonna go for these then yeah, my another version, black leggings because it's cardio tomorrow and these are very comfortable to wear for that. Put that on there and then I need a supportive sports bra. So I'm going to go for this AYBL1 which has like thick adjustable straps. Put it the right way and we'll lay her up. And then we will go for my Tala zip up top for over the top. And then we need some socks. This is my little sock drawer. They'll do. And there is my gym outfit all ready for the morning. all ready for a good night's sleep. Corby Lou is giving me cuddles. Jordan hasn't came to bed yet but I will catch up with you all in the morning. Night! <laughs> Honestly, you just can't write it. So we have literally just finished pretty much doing the big things in the house that we want to do. The things that required a lot of work to be doing in the house or for the house to be messy. You know, like the big projects. We've literally just finished, like it's been painted, 
media walls being done, dressing rooms done, the beds being fitted. So a lot of the big projects are now pretty much done. It's more just like decorative bits. Anyway, I cleaned the whole house. Um, and literally last night me and Jordan said to each other, God, it actually like feels like a proper home. Like it feels like we can like enjoy it now. Woke up this morning, went to the gym, was all going great, came home from the gym, tried to have a shower and the water just wasn't hot. It was like warm, but not warm. Like I was cold in the shower. I was literally like, oh God, this is horrible. I was thinking, weird. Anyway, got out of the shower, told Jordan, he was like, oh, that's strange. We then noticed that our radiator in the hallway was literally leaking and all the new walls that have been painted under there were soaking wet and peeling and the skirting board was soaking wet and under our floorboards are soaking wet and honestly i was just like what what is going on we were just very stressed so anyway we rang the plumber and the plumber's been here all afternoon it's literally three o'clock and um the plumber just left so great we've now got a massive hole in the wall where he's had to find where the leak was coming from the painting needs redone the flooring is potentially going to have to be replaced downstairs which isn't ideal because if it's wet underneath obviously we can't leave that because it'll just cause problems in the long run and honestly not gonna lie to you all i have been an emotional mess i've been very stressed and very just overwhelmed with it all because in the grand scheme of things like there is a lot worse things going on in the world and it could be a lot worse this is a minor issue but it's still stressed me out and it's just been one of those days and now i'm like got a million and one things to do and sort out what am i gonna do though i'm gonna make some banana bread because i've spent the whole day stressed sat on my laptop being an emotional wreck and the plumber's just gone and i feel like i just need to do something to try and switch my brain off so we've got some very ripe bananas here and i'm gonna attempt to make a banana bread. Now last time I made a banana bread it was a big fat fail. I'm not the best baker, I'll be honest. Um, but I found a recipe and um, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try and turn this day around because let me tell you, it's been one of those days, but I still wanted to continue vlogging because life happens. It's not always sunshine and butterflies and rainbows. It was sunshine and butterflies and rainbows this morning. It was blue skies. But now the weather is truly reflecting my mood and it's been torrential rain all afternoon. But let's make a banana bread and hope we can turn it around, okay? I'm gonna put some lotus in there because we all know I'm obsessed with lotus biscoff. And let's just hope for the best. Because if this banana bread fails and comes out the oven, minging, God help me and God help Jordan when he gets home because I'm going to be in a bad mood. Do you know what I've actually just realised as well, as I'm in the cupboard finding what I need? I also dropped a glass from the cupboard when I was making a cup of tea this morning and it shattered everywhere. And then the radiator happened. And then, oh no, then the hot water didn't work and then the radiator. So it's literally been three things, or I hope that's three and there's not a third one coming because if the third one's the banana bread failing not going to be happy um i don't even know if i've got all the ingredients right i've got flour what else do i need <laughs>
we've got the banana bread in. So far it's looking good. I've just melted some biscoff, so I'm gonna swirl that on top and swirl it all in. Just got it out the oven. Is that burnt? No, it's not burnt. It's just a little bit brown on the top, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. So we need to get it onto this board because I thought I could put it in slices and put it in this cute little like display thing on the island. I think this was my nana's. My mum gave me it and I'm pretty sure she told me it was my nana's, which is really cute. Um, or it was just my mum's, but isn't it really nice? It's like a green marble love it um but let's take it out and put it there that's why i prefer using paper because um then it doesn't really stick to the container do you know what i need to get i need to get like a proper bacon tray situation because that's literally a roasting tin don't think that's for bacon banana bread in but that's all i had right I mean, she feels good. She might not be the fluffiest thing, but bear in mind I didn't have any baking powder. She's not flat as a pancake. All right, let's slice her up. I'm actually just gonna leave it to cool down. I'm gonna have this bit. Let's do a live taste test, shall we? It's really hot still, but I like it when it's hot. That's actually good for me, who's not a baker. That is actually good, it's a bit, Chewy on the outside, <laughs> gonna be honest with you. But it's actually pretty good. I just made myself a cup of tea. So I'm gonna go and sit and watch some YouTube, eat my banana bread, and be a happy girl. And let the negativity go because everything happens for a reason. Everything will be fine in the end. And it's all good. we're very relaxed aren't we we've had some relaxation we've had some oh don't go we've had some banana bread and um i'm about to take corby out because i feel like getting some fresh air will also really help me and to be honest the blue skies are coming back out the universe wants me to get out of this mood be in a good mood so i'm gonna get out get some fresh air and walk corby but i just wanted to jump on and end this video here hope you enjoyed it just a little two days with me don't forget to check out l'oreal and their new midnight serum and midnight cream 10 out of 10 love it so much the info will be all down below in the description love you guys so much make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this one and as always i will see you in the next one bye